Welcome to Velvet Ice Cream. I'm Joe Dagger. Hi, and I'm Mike Dagger, and Joe and I are both third generation ice cream makers. We're delighted you have come to visit the Old Mill today. Our family's been making velvet ice cream in this area for four generations, and it all began when our grandfather Joe came to Utica in 1914 and worked in the basement of a local confectionery. We grew from a hand-cranked operation to what velvet ice cream is today. In those days, the refrigerant needed to make ice cream was ice taken from the river during the winter. Men marked off the ice in large sections and then cut it using hand saws. Then the cakes were pulled to the ice house by horses and hauled up an elevator into the ice house where it was stored in layers separated by straw and sawdust. People ask us, where did grandfather get the name Velvet? Everything was small and local in those days, and Grandpa probably just heard it and liked the name because it conjured up the idea of a smooth, creamy product, the kind he wanted to make. The business outgrew the confectionery store, and we built a plant next to the ice house and installed commercial ice cream making machinery. My father, Charlie, and his brother, Uncle Ed, continued to grow the business until we outgrew the downtown location. We needed more space to make more varieties of ice cream and more flavors. Some people advised us to tear down the old mill, but it had been a landmark in this community for nearly 100 years. Joe and I always had a love of history, so we began renovating in 1965 and opened it up to the public in 1970. The company grew from a local operation and became recognized in the frozen food industry. Today we want to show you our modern plant. Come on, let's go and make some ice cream. You've got to get up very early if you want to make velvet ice cream. We receive milk and cream from Ohio Farms and store it in large holding tanks. We begin filling two 600 gallon blending tanks with cream, milk, corn syrup, sugar and water this batch is made using one of 500 recipes, including the ones Grandpa Dagger made in our new gourmet line. The operator uses electronic controls to measure the right amount of cream, corn syrup, and water as he adds the milk and sugar. The batch is thoroughly tested in the laboratory to make sure it meets all of our quality standards before it is pumped to the pasteurizer. The pasteurizer raises the temperature to 180 degrees in the first half of the machine. Then the mix is cooled rapidly to 38 degrees before it is sent to the homogenizer. This machine uses tremendous pressure to produce a very smooth product. From here the mix is stored in large tanks until it is pumped out in small batches and into flavoring tanks where we add all natural flavorings. The mix is then whipped and frozen to a temperature of 21 degrees in a freezer that can handle 200 gallons an hour. It supplies the ice cream for all of our specialty items, such as the velvet ice cream sandwich. This sandwich machine makes about 120 sandwiches a minute, filling vanilla ice cream between two chocolate cookie wafers. The sandwich wrappers are cut, wrapped, and heat sealed. We make 120 sandwiches a minute, 7,200 an hour, 290,000 sandwiches a week, every week. The packages are wrapped and a plastic shrinks in the heat tunnel operating at 250 degrees and then they're sent up the conveyor to the freezing tunnel. This machine makes the round half gallon cartons. The flat cartons are rolled into a cylinder and the bottom is put on and heat sealed and a crimp is put around the top and the cartons are sent up a conveyor to the filling line. Here are the flavor vats, one for each line. And these three tanks can supply a mix for our three flavored items, like rainbow sherbet or Neapolitan ice cream, with orange flavor on the bottom, lime in the middle, and raspberry on the top. Pumps on the flavor vats send the mix to the freezer. As the mix goes into the barrels, it is whipped, 
and frozen by two barrels in each freezing tube. The outside barrel holds the freezing coolant and an inside barrel contains the mix. Now we open a flat box, seal the bottom, fill it with ice cream, and seal the top. The packages are sent down the line, wrapped, put through a heat tunnel to shrink the wrap, and are sent up the conveyor to the freezing tunnel. Here's another velvet favorite, Sunday Cups, in strawberry and chocolate flavors. Here, we're making vanilla ice cream in three gallon buckets. We can make 900 gallons of finished ice cream an hour, so in a 10 hour day, we can make 3,000 tubs a day. On they go into the freeze tunnel and into this building, the continuous freezer. The temperature in the freezer is always at least 32 degrees below zero, but when the 12 cooling fans are turned on, the wind chill factor is 110 degrees below zero, cold enough to bring the core temperature of the product to zero degrees in four hours, which locks in the freshness. There are 52 shelves, 2 feet wide, 20 feet long, and 8 feet high, and they all move in rotation. The freezer works on a system of photocells and sensors, and a computer remembers where each and every product is and where it's located. It loads and unloads products from the freezer shelves automatically, or it can find any product, unload it, and send it on to waiting trucks on command. Velvet Ice Cream has grown from a hand-cranked operation in 1914 that served an area about five miles in all directions to a distribution network that reaches to the Mississippi River and Florida and New England. So that's how we make Velvet Ice Cream. And here's some of the products we make. Vanilla is the most popular product, followed by moose tracks, chocolate, butter pecan, and cashew and mint chocolate chip. And they're all shipped fresh. To a supermarket near you. But your visit here isn't complete unless you come inside the old mill and experience our turn of the century ice cream parlor. The old mill is a place where you can enjoy good food and top it off with great desserts. Browse through our gift and candy shop featuring many items being made by local craftsmen. Many made right here in Ohio. Going to our museum, you'll discover the history of ice cream from Roman times to Dolly Madison in the White House and you'll also see the Museum of Milling. Continuing our community involvement, Velvet Ice Cream, along with the Utica Sertoma Club and other community organizations, joined forces to present the Utica Ice Cream Festival each year over Memorial Day weekend. All proceeds from the festival are returned to the community. When it comes to old-fashioned good times and traditions, there's plenty of things a family can do at the old mill. And in the fall, the Old Mill celebrates fall harvest days with hay rides, pumpkins, petting zoo, and old time music on the patio. Fun for the kids and the whole family. The festival is held each year at the Old Mill in our beautiful park where we honor many Ohioans for their commitments and service who have made Ohio a better place. 
There are all kinds of other events every weekend, spring, summer, and fall, and the Old Mill comes alive with the sights and sounds of festivals that took place in country communities through the 1800s and through the turn of the century. Thank you for visiting us. Come back again soon. Bring your family and friends. We hope that our tradition will become yours. Spring, summer, and fall is a celebration here at the Old Mill, and you're invited.